Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 11. Yesterday we had the return of The Flash for Episode 10, the mid-season premiere. It was a really, really solid episode, and it left us with an amazing ending to do with Sherlock, and also to do with Reverse Flash and Nora, and what it is going to set up in the next few episodes going into the back half. So maybe some of that will go into this episode, but this episode is more to do with Cicada. We'll be breaking it down, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. This episode, episode 11, the trailer dropped yesterday, I just had no time at all. I was at a double screening yesterday, so I went from one press screening to the other, I saw Glass. Check out my review for that on Discussing Film. That is the new film with uh, Sam with Samuel Jackson and James McAvoy and everyone. So check that out. I was really busy. So now we're finally getting round to actually watching this trailer and actually breaking it down for you guys. So the trailer will be in the description below. I don't want to go into the details but yeah Warner Brothers don't like me at all so shot by shot we're gonna be going through this so the first shot of the trailer is one we saw in that extended trailer about a week ago or so also quickly Supergirl did drop a new trailer so I'll be doing a trailer breakdown for that tomorrow and so yeah we see a body bag on the ground at a crime scene and we see police officers behind and we see Nora and Barry doing their CSI thing to do with this dead body and in the voice overlay Nora says Cicada is back and he's on a killing spree. So finally he's returned after his runaway in, one, in the 100th episode when he goes away into the sunset or into the night as it was and so he's returning, he's on a killing spree, he's killing all these metas coming back for his revenge and now he's got a real vengeance and he really wants to get to Team Flash because they know about him, they know about Grace, they're probably onto Grace and we know Grace is going to come into it pretty heavily in the next few episodes after this, I think so. And so the second shot of the trailer is again at that crime scene we see Barry looking at Nora and they seem to be shocked and I think this is due to the MO of Cicada and the fact that he's returned and so in a shot that is part of that same scene we see Nora saying that piece of dialogue that Cicada's back on a killing spree and so I do believe the body is actually this woman in the next shot she's a meta she gets stabbed by a Cicada I was kind of surprised that they used that amount of gore because the Flash normally shies away from it and they're not shying away from it here and I commend them for that and so we see Cicada in this alley stabbing this woman obviously a meta because he doesn't kill anyone that's not a meta so I believe she's in the body bag and so in the voice overlay again in a different part they say they're going to be getting all these metas out and trying to save them because it seems like Cicada's going after everyone even if they're not directly linked to what's going on especially with the flash and so the next shot we see Barry as he runs two of these metas I can't really identify them right here but I believe one of them is one that we'll talk about in a minute later in the trailer Barry is as the flash and they're in this place again I have to question their use of lighting I don't like green I just don't like it in lighting for some reason when it contrasts but that's just a filmmaking aspect but anyway moving on to the next shot we see Barry and Barry's in Star Labs and he's talking once again about the matters and saving these people and the next shot is of Ralph. Ralph is back. He wasn't in last episode. And we see Killer Frost. Love having Killer Frost around. We saw her briefly in the last episode. And we see the Flash with all these metas. And most likely they've taken them out of prison. Because one of them's got an orange suit on. Or it may be just the lighting. And so we're going to see some familiar faces. In terms of the meta villains in this episode. Who are going to be technically working with the Flash. I think you can relate this trailer and the idea of what they're doing back to that season one episode I do believe or it could be season two but I believe it's season one when they try and take all the metas and move them to a different place but it's halted by Leonard Snart betraying them so I believe it's very very similar to what's going on there and we see a new shot of Cicada as he's holding his dagger he looks really really intimidating right here and so we go back to that place with all these different methods that we've seen before or maybe some of these are new I don't actually really recognize this woman on the screen right now with the snake eyes that we see later in the trailer but she's with the flash Barry and everyone 
and they're in this hideout of sorts I can't pin down where it is but it looks like a hideout and we get a really nice shot of Barry in the darkness in this hideout talking to this guy I totally forgot his name and the reason I forgot his name is I don't care about him really didn't like him last season he was in a few episodes with Amunet shit the worst person probably on the flash in a very very long time god it just brings back bad memories seeing him so hopefully he has a very very little amount of screen time in this episode I don't know if any of you guys liked him but I just thought he was really boring and I hated Amulet Black I thought she was really bad or oh, that English accent anyway so kind of bringing up bad memories but nevertheless they are helping all these matters and we get a wide shot of them supposedly breaking out of a facility maybe this is a prison or maybe this is their hideout but they are all running and we see Ralph and various other metas down below. And then we go to the important part of the trailer, the big part. This is to do with Cicada and Nora because we got that trailer a few weeks ago. I think it was last week maybe. And it was the extended one where we saw Nora in the neck brace. And this is the bit where he's going to clatter her spine. And so we see a shot of Nora as she's looking up at Cicada in shock because obviously she's been knocked down or something and and that's actually due to him actually dampening her powers making her stop and so he goes in for a swing and then the next shot in the trailer is Barry screaming no! and Barry does that all the time I love when he does it and so this is a moment of shock because it does look like Cicada's going to actually kill her and then in that shot in the next frame we see Nora being held up like a freaking rag doll by Cicada like she must be really really light or he's really really strong nevertheless he's holding her like a ragdoll in the air by the arm and he goes in and he supposedly punches her spine it looks like he's shattered her spine maybe a bit similar to how like Bane shattered Batman's spine in the Dark Knight Rises and so it kind of looks like the action like he would stab her But I'm kind of questioning why he didn't stab her It just kind of looks like it and it's like the perfect chance if he's on this mission of revenge Does he want to cripple her? He does cripple her, but does he not want to kill her? I think he would want to kill her so I'm kind of just like hmm, What's going on here and nevertheless Nora is crippled and as you can see she lets out a shriek of pain due to her back or due to her spine like snapping or really getting severely damaged so that she's going to be in a neck brace and she can't move her legs as it was said in that past trailer and she's essentially paralyzed like Barry was in season 2 I believe so it's a nice parallel seeing their journey sort of playing out in a very similar way and so Cicada is going to do this and this is going to be devastating for Barry seeing that Cicada would do something like this to his daughter and this leads Barry in this episode as we saw in that past trailer to go full on rage mode and absolutely try and destroy Cicada he's going to embrace that anger embrace that sheer visceral feeling within inside of him and he's going to try and kill Cicada or Bruce Lee injure him and you see this in the next shot where he's going for a massive swing at Cicada in this factory and this is most likely after and we saw in that past trailer he was literally like growling in anger and he wanted to take him for himself and he's going to take him for himself and Cecile had that line in that past trailer where she was talking about becoming Cicada, becoming the villain if you embrace the anger you are becoming the very same thing that makes Cicada a villain because that anger inside of you taking it out on other people is not right and so I think Barry is going to learn a lesson in this episode but also it's going to be really really awesome to see him actually act this out because Grant does angry very very well and really looking forward to that I don't know if Nora is going to actually be able to run again by the end of the episode but we're supposing she might return like properly you know running within maybe two episodes or so but for now she's going to be crippled she's going to be paralyzed she won't be able to use her legs because of her spine actually being shattered by cicada so i'm really 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 looking forward to this episode i thought this trailer was really good and it sets up a lot of stuff the only thing that i'm sort of not so sure about is the metas because as we know the metas of the week are the weakest parts of 
the Flash episodes, and I really didn't like that Snake guy, and his powers are really weird as well. Moving on past my bad memories of Season 4, as you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Season 4. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're excited for Season 5, Episode 11, see him red. Let me know in the comments down below, leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, check out my film review channel, and check out my movie podcast channel, and also check out my glass review that I mentioned earlier in this video, all in the description below, also check out the trailer, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later, goodbye.